psychic powers, the paranormal, pseudoscience. Extraordinary claims are everywhere, but is there any evidence? We are the Center for Inquiry Investigations Group. We use science and its methods to examine these claims and disseminate our findings to the public. This episode, Flat Earth. With a growing online community convinced that the Earth is not a sphere, we invited a group of flat earthers to join us as we put the curvature of the Earth to the test. We're on our way to the Salton Sea to not prove, but reconfirm that the Earth is a globe and not a disk. This better work. It's Saturday and uh, we just scouted the balloon location. Two different targets that we're going to be looking at on the shores of the Salton Sea. One is a giant balloon based target that we're going to be looking at from 10 miles across. The other one is a 9 foot boat based target that we'll be looking at from the shore. I'm confident the earth is round. I'm not confident about anything else about our plan. Some people think there's an edge to flat earth and we're under a, a dome. I don't know because I haven't been allowed to go to Antarctica. <laughs> The alarm went off at 3.50 this morning and we headed out to the Salton Sea. One group, the balloon team, went to Desert Shores. That's our target on the other side of the Salton Sea. The other group came to the Salton Sea Recreational Area. That's the observing team. And we set it up so that we could raise a balloon up in the air and see how high it had to be before you could see it on the other shore. I am Mark Sargent, uh, we are at the Salton Sea and we are here witnessing a test to see whether the curvature of the Earth exists or not. What do you think is going to happen out here today? Uh, the same thing that happens for every curvature experiment. There's no curve whatsoever. There's not going to be 40 feet of curvature, that's for sure. Okay, well here's a really good thing. If you do go down to the Antarctic Circle, you can film the star pattern and they, they, will, they will go uh, clockwise mm -hmm. because the Earth is spinning to the east and if you go then to the North Pole the stars will spin the other way and that's exactly how you would expect them to do. My main argument is if you have to look up right. at the stars to prove the shape of the floor when you look down at your toes yeah. you're already lost. No, you're not lost. Already, so but, with cur there's no curvature here <laughs> on the Earth. The idea is that if the Earth is curved, as you know, scientists tell us, across a span of 9.61 miles, we should be able to predict that a, an object about 34 feet tall would be completely hidden under the horizon, under the curvature. But if the Earth is flat, you should be able to see it right away. So that's going to give us room to test whether the Earth is curved or flat. And this is a tough find. We're looking almost 10 miles across a body of water. We were in constant conversation and they were telling us at what level the target was when it got to a certain level and we could see it. Then we asked them again what height it is. Well, uh, what height is it? Is the balloon in the air? What height is the balloon? And we couldn't see it until it was 45 feet actually up in the air. Okay, we can see the two balloons and we can see the target flying now, but the there's a little bit of a mirror effect, but the target's now bobbing right about at the, the brake line. So yeah, this verifies that there is a pretty serious curvature over 10 miles uh, across a body of water like this. What do you extrapolate from that? That uh, the Earth is a globe and uh, we're just confirming what we've always known. I didn't see their test, but I know that there's a mirage line at the very part of the, right at the horizon and it mirrors things. I saw atmospheric lensing, I saw distortion, I saw the Fata Morgana effect. So they were able to see the whole balloon? Then I think that's flat. So what you're doing now, we predicted what we said was going to happen and with the boat thing, it's the same thing's going to happen. It's just going to be a shorter version of it. The next test was a boat-based target, which is, as you can see, a I'll series of stripes. And the idea was to get a camera pretty close to the level of the water, send the boat out, and watch these horizontal stripes disappear. 
Okay, so that's them at 1.22 miles. That's just at the horizon. So we're not starting to lose any of the stripes yet, but from here on out, we're gonna start losing the horizontal stripes. They're at two miles right now. It was uh, difficult to see the boat at three miles out when the effect would be most pronounced, but we did lose, I think, the majority of one stripe at the bottom. Here they come. Okay, so I'm zoomed in as far as I can. Just barely see the red. So it was about what we expected to see. The results were exactly what I expected. Uh, the loss of observation height was due to Fata Morgana, refraction, atmospheric lensing. I've seen this so many times that when someone is presented with massive evidence right in front of their face, they still find wiggle room to somehow get around and land at their original belief. No, they admit it, they destroyed the technology to go to the moon. It's a fact that they it's can't go to the moon anymore. It's a we, fact that we, they have We have more bags. technology in our cell phone. We have more technology in our cell phone. You guys are Why smarter you know? than all the scientists in the world. That's amazing. We didn't change any minds today. I didn't really come here expecting to change any minds. You don't know what you believe. Yeah. We know what we are. You pay somebody to teach you what you believe. Well, knowledge is you, what you pay somebody to tell you what to believe. And all you do is regurgitate what they tell you no man, I just did some science right here. I didn't regurgitate anything. Yeah, you just I saw it with my own eyes. I mean, if you get to the point where you're a flat earther, um, you've talked yourself into some pretty serious, wacky arguments. Who would be the powers to be? It's the bloodlines, dude. The royal bloodlines are in control. Now, I'm not saying the President of the United States, we're talking probably levels of magnitude above him. It's population control, dude. Chemtrails, you know about chemtrails? Have you heard about them? There's so many wacky ideas surrounding flat earth belief that uh, it's just hard to tell how they ended up in these spots. This is not an experiment that's done often. Red team, blue team, everybody came out this morning. We just wanted to uh, show them to their faces what the evidence is. Both sides were put forward. We knew that both sides would never back down. We believe in giving everybody a chance to present their evidence. And we'll leave it up for the public to decide. I also just wanted to address some of this other wacky anti-science sentiment out there. I don't believe we live on a globe. I've never seen a shooting star do anything but go down. I've never seen them go up. Show me one metal on Earth that can survive 3,600 degrees. Science has always been the best method for learning the truth about the universe around us. Our climate depends on it. Our health depends on it. Our immediate environment depends on it. Our species depends on it.